So, hello everyone here, today we're gonna do Explain to me like it's anime and start with Vinland Saga name pronunciation. So I speak of course Swedish, Norwegian, Danish, right? Like I explain to you how to pronounce the different words, names, sort of in Vinland Saga. And this is this topic, please subscribe to somewhere because I actually got this ID last year for doing for Bleach, right? Because every new queen in Bleach, spoilers, have like a German or Swedish name or whatever, right? But because, of course, Bleach has a uh, pause right now and they haven't actually shown all the queens yet, I haven't done a video yet. But when all the queens have been shown, we do a video about the queens, is right, talking about all the different powers and what is pronounced and full standing and that stuff and so on, the angel name, etc. Uh, but now that, so Vin and Saga, I was thinking of doing one with Tech on Titan, right? Because basically every Tech Titan also has like Swedish and German names, so Jäger, like Jäger, and so on, you know, Hunter. So, anyway, let's start with Knut. So, as you probably know, right, this is how it's spelled, uh, Knut and Sore. This is how it's spelled, right, in uh, the anime, uh, which makes no sense, right? It's like an Eng and I think that especially Knut has a very bad name, right, in anime, because it's like an English version of this Swedish and Danish name, and then it's turned into this, like, Japanese even more so, right? So, his name is spelled this, like, in the English one, in Japanese, Knute, and the Japanese say it even more, right? Because they can't use, they can't say the T, so they like add another vocal and so on syllabus, and it just goes crazy. But it is supposed to be spelled like this, right? Uh, or like this. Uh, sometimes you see with a D in Danish, it's with just T, so it's pronounced Knut, right? And I say, I, say, I, I know I made a video about it earlier this year, but it's so simple. I this is the most, this is the whole video is about Knut now, but it is so, you know, it's so different, right? Honestly, again. Knut, right? It's a very simple name, with a short name, so it's very simple, but it's a short name, you know, not that many variables, but that many letters in it, right? There are some Swedish names that are very long, and then I can understand why it's hard to pronounce them, but Knut, right? It's like Scott. It's a very short, um, only four <laughs> only four letters, so I think his, his name is definitely the most um, mispronounced, right? So again, Knut, uh, but in Old Danish and Old Norse, it's sometimes called Knud. Um, so Knut and Store, for example, right, you know, that's a uh, uh, title here, Knut the Great, uh, not Knut, but anyway, I made a video about it earlier, let's talk about the other character. So Thorfinn is honestly kind of how you actually pronounce the English, right, and there come a lot of Thor characters, talk about that more later, but obviously his name and many other characters' name are in Vinland Saga is kind of authentic, and that a lot of characters, right, or real people, were named after the gods, of course, of Norse mythology. So his name is Thor, obviously, the god of thunder, Thor Finn, right? Um, his father's name is Thors, and honestly, it is pronounced basically the same, right? Uh, in Swedish and Danish and so on, and Norwegian, you say Thor, sort of Thor, right? So it's a little, it's a little different pronunciation, yeah, Thor. You don't have the H, right, so it's just Thor. Another name is like Thore. Uh, Thor Björn, comes later with Björn, right? So a very common name, actually, very common. When I was a kid, a quite a common name isn't Björn, isn't that common? Coming to Björn later. But the combination of Thor and Björn, I mean, a lot of people name Thor Björn. That is a common name in Sweden, or common, but used to be, you know, kind of common, yeah. Uh, Thor Björn, yeah, that's a pretty common name. So obviously, then you combine Thor, right, the god, and take Björn, another character saying, right? Björn means beer, and you have like a Thor beer, right? So that's a pretty. Pretty common name, and like you're combining animals with gods, right? Coming to that more later, the other characters also have uh, animalistic names, right? Which are very common even to this day in Sweden, right? Etc. Right? People have uh, names based on different animals, like Bjorn, that's a very common animal. So, Thorfinn, of course, obviously, and named after the god of thunder. And this is Leif, and I, <laughs> I see it with Fire Emblem too, right? We have a character, Fire Emblem, uh, who has the name of. Leif <laughs> and, the, and the Japanese in the game, the person Leif, Leif, yeah, they're like Leif, of course. I mean, in Japanese, you can't just say the F, right? So they're like Leif <laughs> or something, Leif, uh, but it's pronounced Leif. It's my uncle's name, somewhat common name. I don't think it's very popular right now in Scandinavia, but it feels like a name that, like I said, my uncle has his name, so it, yeah, it's like generation older than me, right? You know, if you're 20, 30, it's older than me. You might have this name, it's a pretty common name, in, it's a pretty classic, like Swedish, Danish name is the one, yeah, Leif, Leif. So you can see it's pronounced with the air sound, right? It's in spare with air, but it's pronounced with that Scandinavian air, so Leif. No, Askelod. So Askelod, it is pronounced similar to Thorfinn, kind of how you actually guess we pronounce, right? Because Aske, Ask means ash, right? It's very similar to Swedish English, uh, so like to ash, something, lad, so it's just kind of 
Askelad Askelad, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of similar. Uh, Pronounce it differently in Scandinavia, right? You don't say Askelad, so it's like Askelad, uh, something like that. It's it's, it's kind of like how it, but it's a very, very uncommon name today, yeah. So it's like Askelad, yeah. It's like, I don't really, no, no one knows the name anymore. But this is Einar. Um, so again, a sound, right? A Einar, Einar. Uh, same name in Danish, it's only Einar. Uh, again, a a sound. Um, a name that is kind of like used to be probably common and then it's common again yeah so no one in my generation i have never met an einar in my life when i grew up but i feel it's a name that is coming again you know what i mean like a lot of name goes in cycles right so it used to be popular maybe yeah, like my grandpa's generation they had a lot of einars and now it's coming back again so now we see people having like children who have the name einar but i don't Never met anyone in my life, like in my age, 10 plus, minus 10 years, with the name Einar, but now I see younger people having it. So yeah, Einar. This name here is Ann. I think it's a pretty common mistake, people say, it's the Anne, probably. But I have relatives with his name as well, right? Pretty common name in Sweden. Um, it's like my grandma's generation, kind of very common name. But again, it is not pronounced with the E actually in Swedish, it's pronounced just with Ann. So I'm skipping some of the lesser known characters, unless they have an interesting name, right? So we had Ari, I skipped, I skipped Ari, whatever, we're going into use like the more uh, characters, right? They have screen time, unless again, if they have a really weird name. So this is Ornhide. <laughs> Her name is very strange. Like this is a name no one has anymore. Uh, the thing is that this name here, Arn, this name exists, and this name is also not overly common, but Arn. So this is like, but it's about male names. Uh, so this is like Arnhide. Arnehade, so I'll have it there, Arne, because this, you, this would be Arne, or this would be like Arne, so her name is really weird, but it's like Arnehade, 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 yeah, it's probably like Arnehade, something like that, very strange name, I want to say I'm guessing a little bit how to pronounce this, but probably Arnehade, because this is like Arne, right, so you can, and that's like a male name, so Arnehade, Heida, or it's a kind of weird if it's like this on a header this would sound way more feminine it's the a after it yeah this sounds like a norwegian name on a header this sounds like a typical double norwegian name this name is hard to pronounce it's, it looks really weird but it's kind of like if you ever talked about the the chains right in gleipner uh with the chains with the fenris ulv and so on so this is similar spelling and pronunciation. so it's not like sg or something it's like the same thing with the asker yeah so it's like gleipner this would be asker asker so they actually kind of pronounce it this thing, Asker. And now goes Björn, of course, Mama Björn. Uh, a pretty, as I mentioned earlier, a pretty common name in Sweden, Björn and all the Scandinavian countries. Um, like I said earlier, right, it's based on an animal. It's very silly, of course, it's beer, right? It's the big thing in the forest. So, yeah, like, what can I say? It's a lot of names. Uh, friends named Ulf, for example, it's like Wolf and so on. It's a very, very common name in Sweden. Or, I mean, not common, but the general idea, right, to have uh, your child name after an animal. That being said, like I said earlier, I know way more tour Björns than right, which is like the combination as I mentioned. Uh, but I mean, this is pronounced Björn again at the Ö. It's kind of an Ö sound. So Björn, um, other than can be Öller and so on, right? Mjöd. And it's a slide on that how to pronounce Mjölner, which is Thor's hammer, right? Also the Ö sound, right? So it's Mjölner. But this is Princess Estrid. This is a weird name. I was like, what is the name real name? This is an actual name. Because if you remove the E, right, and this is a very common name in Sweden, yeah, Astrid, Astrid Lindgren, because it's a very famous, um, you probably heard about her, you know, Pippi Longstocking and so on, right, you know, Emil and so on, so a very common uh, name, I think, thanks to Astrid, right, because it's a very, very famous author, probably Sweden's most popular author of all time in modern Sweden is Astrid Lindgren. So very, very uh, popular name, thanks to her. Uh, but this person name, this is not her real name, Astrid, uh, instead of the E instead, instead of Astrid, it'd be Estrid. Um, but today, basically, his name is, you know, obsolete. Yeah, no one has his name anymore. It's like a very, very rare name, right? But this name is very common. The e, a, a spelling instead. But it's like Estrid instead of Astrid. This name I was found kind of weird in Vilnius Saga. Floki. Because his, basically his spelling is like Loki, right? You know, the evil god. But actually, Loki is always mispronounced in Marvel and so on, right? It's supposed to be like this, right? Luke. Um, so it's a typical issue, people mispronounce uh, Loki again, right? so Loki, and his name, Floke, that's like an actual name, so I think it's just badly done, it's probably be like, this is spelled like this, but his name is spelled like this, and the thing is that in 
Uh, old Norse, I equals E. This can be the same thing, depending on uh, like the context or whatever, if you read Old Norse and so on. So, so like I said again, Loki, right? Loke, this is how you actually spell Loki, and pronounce Loke. This is the wrong spelling, you know, with the A, you can see that <laughs> this spelling is the wrong spelling. Uh, same thing with Oden, pronounce Oden, not Odin. So in English, right, you say Odin, but his actual name is Oden. Uh, just like in the one pick, Odin. That's the actual spelling of Odin. Uh, so his name here, while it's spelled like that, even if it's spelled like that, it could equally be this thing in Old Norse. Just so, like it depends on the context, right? And given that this is the actual name of the god, or how it's pronounced Luke, I would pronounce his name Fluke, which is a real name. But this thing is like Fluke. Yeah, it's a really weird name. Fluke. It's very English, you know, very English pronunciation of this thing. So while it's spelled like that, I, again, I would pronounce it like, you know, equals E, right? So, Fluke. This character has an interesting name, Garn, because it's like based on this wolf, right? So his name is spelled Gar, like this, I believe, in the anime or whatever, uh, in the manga, or like this maybe, and then M is also kind of the same thing in Japanese. But the actual spelling is something like this, <laughs> in Swedish, yeah. Garn, yeah, it's like a double R or afterwards. So Garm, but his name is like this, I think, with the armor. So it's like Garm, Garm. This character has appeared in the anime, and I'm an anime only, but I think she has an interesting, I just want to name her, right? Her name is Gud, Gud, Gudrid. Yeah, Gudrid, Gundrid. It's a pretty common name, not this name per se, this spelling, but like uh, similar, a lot of a lot of Swedish names has this kind of spelling, you know, Gunrid, more in this way, Gunilla, more like this with the N here, right? So it's pretty common as I brought up here. So Gud, obviously this is God. Yeah, so it's a God in Swedish. And in Norwegian and so on. Uh, Gudrid. So Gud, Gudrid. Uh, but also, I think it's a pretty, like, you know, I don't know, a more older spelling of a pretty common name today. Uh, because we have a lot of different versions of this name today in Scandinavia. So Gudrid. Now, this, of course, is the brother of Ragnar. So this is Gunnar. This is also a very, I feel, pretty common name. So yeah, Gunnar. This is a name you hear a lot. I know a lot of Gunnar. Uh, again, feels like an older generation than me. I don't know how many Gunnar in my age, but this is like my, my father's friend or whatever. My uncle, you know, this kind of, that kind of generation. But yeah, Gunnar, pretty common name. Uh, so again, Gunnar and Ragnar. So this is actually a real name and a famous person. This is a very weird name. And I think English people are like, half Dan, <laughs> half black belt, you know? You know in Japanese Dan, you know, the first Dan is a black belt, someone, right? Half Dan. But this name is pronounced more like Halfdan, 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 yeah, Half, Halfdan. So this is more like Halfdan. Uh, typical double name. Uh, probably if you like that, it's probably easy to pronounce it right. So think more in two words. And a lot of names in, uh, especially in Norway, I think has a lot of double names. So it's like Halfdan. Yeah. So you say it like this, right? Halfdan, Halfdan. Then is Harald Blåtand, right? So his name is spelled like this, which is the blue tooth, but it's spelled like that, Blåtand. So it's the O again, right? It's kind of even O, Harald. So it's, yeah, it's not Harald, it's more like Harald, right? Harald, you pronounce the A longer, Harald, ha Harald, like that. Harald Blå, Blåtand, uh, Harald, yeah, so it's like Ha. Harald. So this is Helga, similar to the previous name, right? The H sound, the H in Scandinavia, so Helga. I feel like a, never a common name today, but you definitely hear similar like version of this, like Helga, Helgi, similar version of this name. Pretty common. This is a name I feel a lot of people are not gonna pronounce. <laughs> this is hard to pronounce, okay? Shetil! Yeah, she Shetil. So his name is spelled this in, in, the, in the English, right? Uh, without the G, so it becomes Ketil. Ketil, but actually, is this is a Scandinavian ch. In, in Norwegian and Swedish, you will say this with like sex or so on. This is the sh sound. Sh sound. So that this spelling of this, sh, sh sound. So it's pronounced sheatil. Shea. Sheatil. And this is a very common name in Norwegian, uh, in Norway. Yeah, I, I know a lot of sheatil. Sheatil. So it's like she. You're gonna pronounce it ke, ke sound. Kia, sheatil. It's a very different name than uh, <laughs> Kettil. Yeah, it's not Kettil, it is, it's Kettil. Sh, 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 sh. It's like this sh, sh sound. Kettil. Olof, also a very, a very, a very common name. Yeah. Olaf, Olof. Kind of like this is, I usually how we spell it today, right? Olof. Or like this, Olof. This is usually 
this is different alteration of it, right? This is probably the most common today. Scandinavia, Olof. Uh, his name is Olaf, so it's a little different, but it's, it's kind of like that version of the Viking name of Olof, right? So his name, like many other characters, right, are based straight up on animal. Uh, his name is Hebe in Japanese, but actually his name is called Orm. That's what I would call it. Uh, Röd Orm, for example, is a famous uh, book and so on in Sweden, right? Uh, and otherwise, Snook, a pet as well. But Orm is like what Hebe is. Hebe means snake in Japanese. Of course, it's Ragnar. Uh, Hebe is better than Gunnar, right? And if you add Ö på, like that, you get Ragnarök, Doomsday, right? Uh, so Ragnar. I would say, I have a teacher named Ragnar. Yeah, it's, it's not like a... Super common name again, just like Gunnar. Yeah, it's fitting honestly. Just like Gunnar, we talked earlier, right? Gunnar and Ragnar fit very like, like this, like my my father's generation. Yeah, like I don't know anyone named Ragnar in my age bracket, kind of thing, or growing up, whatever. But there are teacher named Ragnar and so on. Yeah, it feels like people are like 15, 20s older than me, maybe the older 30 years. So that, yeah, Ragnar, Gunnar. It's like an yeah, old man name. <laughs> but it is, it is a pretty classic Swedish name. So King Sven. Yeah, let's say it. Sven. So it's Svenne or Svin or so on. It's Sven. And a pretty common name in Sweden, or last name, is Svensson. It's a very, very common name. Like in Sweden, you have a TV show called Svensson Svensson. So basically, Svensson is like Smith, right? So. Yeah, this old TV show that I grew up, love. it's a classic comedy show, uh, again, Svensson Svensson, right? basically it's like Smith Smith, you know, like Joe Smith, like it's a very, yeah, the Svensson is a kind of like the most basic uh, common name in Sweden, right, so, uh, it means of course son of Sven, right, so yeah, very, very common um, uh, last name, surname, but not very common first name anymore than Sven, but uh, yeah, it's not Svensson, Sven, Svensson, uh, another very, very, for that matter, very, very, even more so common name like Johansson is incredibly common. Larsson, so a lot, lot of last names. Mine, don't, go, don't worry about my last name, he doesn't have this shit, but a lot of people have the last name with like Larsson, Svensson, Johansson. But Svensson again, then is like a, kind of the most iconic, like Svensson, Svensson. Yeah, that's like the most basic, generic <laughs> name. Is that the most, I think Johansson is by far the most common one today. But Svensson feels like the most, like, you know, kind of culture wise. Oh, how in Svensson? Oh, Svenne, Svenne. Oh, it's very like Svenne and so on. I had a classmate that we called Svenne, right? He was like a farmer guy. We all, like an insult. Yeah, like, oh, he's like a peasant guy. Svenne, you know, it's like, it's like, you know, it's like the sweet version of generic. Oh, Svenne. It's like some kind of, he's some kind of farmer guy with no education. Right? This is Sverker. Not a very common name today, but you hear sometimes. You also have other names like Jerker, for example, is a name and so on, right? So you, you remove the. This, you get that thing instead. Yeah, Jerker, not your <laughs> Jerker, yeah. Same thing as Sverker, Sver, Sverker. Obviously now we get a bunch of Thor guys. So Thor Gil, right? The money in Final Fantasy and Thor. Torke, obviously similar to Whatever, you know, yeah, you get my point. Thor, Thor, yeah, Torke, <laughs> Like, they, they are based on the God of Thunder, okay? They are based this guy, though, I feel have a more common name, though, than the other guys today, right? Mentioned earlier. Because video, Tore, yeah. Because I know a lot of people named this name, Tore, which feels more common. Like this name, Tore, or Tore, right? So I like, like, just like that. That's just Tore, that's how you spell it, right? Tore, like I said earlier, remove the H. This is actually how you spell it, kind of like Tore, right? Uh, so this name, or his name, then Tore. This is like a typical common name today, where no one has this name, like, no, Torkel or Torgil. Yeah, they're, they're kind of weird. Or uh, talk about like, Torgal, talk about. Uh, two weeks ago, yeah, and so on. This name is kind of weird, but this name, that one, yeah, this is like a typical name in Norway. Spe yeah, I know like 10 or so Norwegian people having this name specifically. We are feeling Sweden is more like this, Tor, and this is more like Norwegian, Tore, but they both exist, yeah. So these are, these are, his name is actually quite common then. Or it's a common name in Sweden too, or common but kind of classic, Ulva. So, pronounce Ulva, right? And the male version is Ulv. This is the Ulv. Uh, this is the male version, and this means wolf. So, is, so her name is basically like female wolf. Yeah, so this is a very common name. Or, or Ulva is a common name. Ulf isn't that common, but pretty common. Kind of classic name, right? So this is like female. I can't see that, but you get what? Yeah, it's like a wolf. But it's like female, yeah. It's like feminine wolf. Yeah, Ulva. So I have a relative named this name. So it's pretty common, yeah. It is. Um, like I said earlier, right? I've been over this already, but yeah, we have Björn, Ulva, Ulf, and so on. Like I have a friend, his name is like this. Dav. Davulf, please. Like David Wolf, yeah. Davulf, and so on. So, you know, like, this is very common. And I think that the two most common versions in Sweden, it's but earlier, is the Björn, right? The, the beer, and uh, this, yeah, Ulva, or uh, the common, uh, different version of you know, Ulv. You also have Varg, which is the 
current spelling of wolf. But this is the old spelling. So Ulf, it means wolf, right? Since similar word, Ulf, wolf, yeah, similar word, right? Uh, but actually, it's really like this word usually, varg. But valg means Ulf. You can say either one, and it, people will understand what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> but uh, this is the older spelling. Ulf. This is more modern spelling. Varg. Also again, similar to Wolf, right? But yeah, Varg. Uh, so, Ulf, or her name then, Ylva. It's quite common, right? But I think that Ylva, yeah, the Wolf name and the BN name are probably the most common ones. And then you have a bunch of other, like the Moose. Some people have uh, it's called Mooses. Uh, little bit snakes. What more names do you have based on animals? I think, I think more so in Sweden. A lot of names are also based on nature. So this is the last, we have one person coming after this thing. But uh, I would say, as a side note here, I think one thing that this anime kind of lacks, or manga, whatever you call it, is na natural names uh, based on nature. Because a lot of names in Sweden are not used like her, Ulleva, kind of common. But a lot of names, you know, are based on like elemental stuff, like, you know, woods or rivers or so on. Yeah, elves and so on. Yeah, so elf, for example, this means river. Like a lot of people have this name. Uh, you have, I have a friend's name is Hellström, for example. Also a singer, right? Yeah, like hell, uh, like hell, you know. This means uh, hell river. <laughs> yeah, hell river. I have a friend named that. It's pretty, also a famous Håkan Hellström. It's a famous uh, singer in Sweden. Håkan Hellström, like that. Uh, so you have a lot of these, these names, I have a name Ström, again river, uh, a lot of people have names based on like you know, forest, water, so those names are actually I think kind of missing in this anime, honestly, because I feel at least from my generation a lot of people have, yeah, like names based on like, kind of like in Japanese, you know, think about like Sakura, right, you know, like, oh, this is like a Sakura Blossom, right, or her name is Haruna Sakura, which means like, you know, meadow, right, or uh, stuff like that, yeah, so kind of like in, in Japanese, when they have a lot of names that are based on like this thing out in nature or whatever. So you can see there's a lot of those names, yeah. Kind of think about it, right? It doesn't make much sense that all the names would just be based on like, oh, animals. Oh, here's a female wolf, Ulva, yeah, okay. But her name, in, in reality, a name might be like Ulva, you know, Ulva, Ulva River, you know, Wolf River, yeah, like feminine, feminine Wolf River or something, yeah. Or, you know, like Burning Forest River or something. <laughs> and uh, those are kind of what the names usually are, right? Yeah, like Bjorn, it's like Bjorn, it's like Fire Forest, yeah, it's like Beer Fire Forest guy. Yeah, like that, those are next to pretty common names if I tested them. So, honestly, the anime do lack a lot of names that should be based on, yeah, elements, water, fire trees, mountains, and so on, you know, typical stuff you see in uh, Swedish, Norwegian, and uh, uh, Danish nature, right? For example, you, you, you won't find anyone having a name on based on desert, right? You know, sand. There's no sand in Scandinavia. So no one's going to have a name based on, like, you know, this thing. But a lot of names are kind of based on, you know, eyes and uh, <laughs> mountain and for yeah. So think about it. But it makes sense, right? That the nature that is Scandinavia... It's gonna name the names like the animals, like the wolves are pretty common, bears are common, moose are common, right? Uh, Graveling, like the mongoose, and so on. You yeah, have the, the badger, you know, badger names, and so on. Yeah, those things uh, are gonna be common, right? And also some, you know, animal or like fish and birds, and so on. But especially mammals that you can find in Scandinavia, plus the environment, right? Are gonna be names. But then the last person, then, Åke. So he spelled it Åke, but it makes no sense. <laughs> so he said it's supposed to be Åke, right? The Åke, uh, to move. Åka, it's like traveling. Uh, but yeah, it's a typical, I took it here, typical uh, Scandinavian Å, right? So Åke. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's the name. I'm going to do a quick speed over them again here. Just quickly, just iterating them very briefly here. But uh, hope you guys like the video. Subscribe, like button, and let's do like a speed run. Okay, so I'm going to do a speed run, how to pronounce different Vinland Saga names. Properly Swedish, Norwegian, Danish. So Turfin, Leif, Knut. This is the whole video is about it. Knut, right? Askelad, Einar, Einar, Esat, Einar, Ann, not Anne, Ann, Arnehid, Arnehid. This name, this name is not right. Arnehid probably. Asbjörn, like the animal. Björn, Estri, Luke, Garm, Gunnrid, Gunnar, Halfdan, Harald, Helga. Kjetil, this is hard brand, yeah, this is Ke, Kjetil, no, not Kettil, Kjetil, Olaf, Orm, Ragnar, Sven, Sverker, Ylva, Åke.